A level chemistry quick test video on electron configuration. So there's a couple of tasks to do. It's the first one. So we've got to complete the table and put in the maximum number of electrons that can fit into these different regions. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. Okay, so the first two are both orbitals. Doesn't matter what type of orbital it is, the maximum number of electrons you can put in any orbital is two. So that's the answer for those. Common mistake here that I see as a teacher is students would put six there because they're going on the P and they'd go for 10 for D. But because it's an orbital, it's only two. The next two subshells now, so the 4p or any p subshell can hold 6 electrons maximum, any d subshell can hold up to 10 electrons. And then the last two, the third shell can hold 18 electrons maximum and the fourth shell is 32. Okay, so the last task now, just various questions around electron configuration. So again, if you want to pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the full electron configuration for the manganese atom is this, and you can write the 3D and 4S in either order. So I've put them in um, shell order, so all the threes together, whereas sometimes people put it in order of filling, so they'd put 4S before 3D. Shorthand electron configuration now for the nickel 2 plus ion. So I'm going to start by doing the atom. So this is not the final answer. This is for the atom. And there's a couple of things we've got to bear in mind. When uh, nickel loses two electrons, it's the 4s electrons that are lost first. So they're going to disappear. And to get it to shorthand, all of this up to, and including 3p6, is shortened to argon. So we would write argon in square brackets 3d8. How many full orbitals are there in an atom of fluorine? So the best way to do this is to write um, electrons in box notation. So fluorine 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And then you can see because of the way the arrows are, you can see that these are full orbitals. So there are four full orbitals. And then finally, the total number of electrons occupying the p orbitals in an arsenic atom. So the way I would tackle this is write the electron configuration of the atom first and then just count up all the p electrons. So we've got 6 and 6 and 3, so that's a total of 15.